Hi guys. We're in the garden. Oh yes, we need to go. It is Tuesday. A trying, trying, trying week. So I just want to jump in and say, I can adjust my camera so you can see my full face. Okay. My husband and I lost baby. And it has been a very hard thing for me to deal with. It's been very hard for me. It's been hard on me. It's been hard in school. It's been hard for 2020. It's been hard being in this house since March. But I'm determined for something good and positive to come from out of it. To come out of it. Okay, so new game plan. I'll tell you when I figure that out. Anyway, let's get to the vlog. <laughs> today. I feel like I'm already looking a little fluffy. What do you think? You think it's just in my head? I don't think so. Ghost bar ends! We told some people today because we're excited and we have to. My husband's so cute. Oh, let me turn the camera. Talk to you the proper way. So my husband's so cute. He texts me while he's at work and he's like, I just want to come home and hug on my wife and rub your belly. I'm also withdrawing from my antidepressant. I've been on Lexapro for years, I don't even know how long, and I've been on a heavy dose of 20 milligrams, and I spoke with my doctor, and that's not something that they recommend while you're pregnant. So I not only have estrogen, I have progesterone vaginally and uh, uh, intramuscularly, then I am detoxing from my SSRI, which is a selective serotonin reuptake, drug which makes it just basic which just bas basically keeps my serotonin levels in my brain high so I'm this beautiful bubbly jasmine and not like a raging bitch trying to kill people that's basically what it does and so I'm just a hot mess right now an actual hot mess okay and I want to test so bad so so bad but I'm trying so hard not to my goal is to make it till Sunday and then I have my blood drawn on Monday. So I'm hoping that I'll test Sunday while my husband's at work. And then I'll find out either I have a positive or negative. If I have a positive, I want to do the surprise and the surprise tell him. Because he doesn't even know when the blood drawn is. I basically told him just don't ask any more questions. Because, you know, with IVF you can't surprise anyone. And that's kind of something that I want to do. This will be his first child, his only child, uh, besides our lovely children. No. I swear, she doesn't want anything. Like, she literally just got out of school. She has a snack. She's sitting in front of the TV. But she just wants to bother me. And you know what? I got too much hormones for this right now. Absolutely too much hormones. <sighs> Other than that, I woke up yesterday to no sun because the West Coast is literally on fire and the sky was orange. And today, I think, is the particulate is big enough to where you're not breathing it in that I could be out here on the patio. Um, but it's been a hot mess around here. <laughs> so that's all it. Um, if anything else goes on, I'll let you know. But I'm just, you know, trying. 
trying not to test. <laughs> Also, look at this beautiful new camera my husband got me for my birthday. I love it, guys. It's so nice and beautiful. I can really do some high-quality garden shit on here. My face is... Mm, I think you guys can see the acne from the, the hormones. But I don't care. I just want my baby. My daughter just wanna leave me alone, let me go. Be on this. I don't know how I feel. I think I keep saying, please baby stay with us. In hopes that he slash she nestles in his days. But I know it has nothing to do with that. Those things are kind of already decided, right? You have no control over it. Please, baby, stay with us. That's how I feel. <clears throat> it's football Sunday in my house, which is a big thing. I am sitting here massaging my booty after my progesterone shots. And I'm watching Dallas and Rams play. So here's something. My husband and I are deciding to move to Arizona to be closer to our in-laws. Um, since we're going to have another addition to our family. And so now I'm deciding what plans to give away to my lovely friends. I have friends that are going to adopt some of my very special plants. I'm, I'm not getting sad about leaving my plants already. I'm totally not. At least I know that they're going to good homes. Use my husband in the background playing video games with his best friend. They're going to be going to good homes. I'm giving them to people that I know will take care of them and that love plants like I do. Um, so that's a plus. God damn, I love my plants. And I'm like, fuck. I want to go. I don't want to have the hassle of moving all these plants to Arizona as well. Because I have at least like 30 plus plants for sure. Easily. Easily. So they got to go. They got to go to other houses. Hopefully I can get video and pictures of their new home. And that they're being taken care of well. So that was it. My plans for leaving me because I'm moving. Game's back on, I gotta go. I am an HCG on Monday. I like if it's in my urine, it's definitely in my blood. Everyone's so happy. This is gonna be a great pregnancy. I'm so excited. Forty percent chance that the pregnancy would continue, which is not odd. And um, I feel stupid. 
stupid or telling my kids, telling some of my friends. I don't think that pregnancy is gonna continue. I spent so much time, so much money. <laughs> My husband and the doctor want me to stay positive. But I feel like my symptoms stopped. They say the only thing you can do is continue the medicine. Which is already so expensive. It's hard. I've never miscarried before. I am thankful for the, the beautiful two healthy children that I have. I just didn't think that this would happen. Before I go, I've been so lost. I've been up since like, Two in the morning. Just brain going. Going, guys. Like, I almost feel like I'm doing anything possible to stay out of my head. Anything it possibly could take. Whether that be like watching YouTube or podcasting, trying to catch up on the loads of fucking homework that I have missed because I did not do anything last week. I gave myself the week yesterday. Yesterday. I gave myself the week. And now I have to catch up on all that homework. I have to catch up on my projects, start papers, all about grieving. And just trying to fucking make it day to day. Enjoy the video. I worked hard on it.